A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2 verse 22 onwards. And the time came for the purification according to the law of Moses. They brought him up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every male that opens the womb shall be called holy to the Lord and to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. The Gospel of the Lord. Please be seated. Hallelujah. See, um, welcome to this retreat you now, Power 2022. Oh, all of us have got the power, but sometimes we don't recognize the power that we have. Hallelujah. And secondly, we have to analyze what power we have got. Some people have got the power of voice. Like, you know, when some, just now I got a phone call like, that time the children in the family were telling, Father, can you take my mom to your center? Why? Whenever we do something wrong, she starts, what are you doing that, this, that? Because of the power of that voice, everything is in an order. You know, to some people, when we visit some houses, some families, we happen to see some of the wives here and some of the husbands here. Whenever some of the wives there is trying to communicate something, some of the husbands there will use their power. <coughs> Immediately this wife will be, ah, mm, Father, ah, okay. Ah. Hallelujah. See the ways of manifesting the power. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 So whatever it, did, it is, and anyway, welcome to Power 2022. We are going to experience the power of the Holy Spirit. That's going to get manifested in different ways. That the first thing we are going to see everything through the eyes of Jesus. Hallelujah. So now for, for that, what we are supposed to do, the first thing is to surrender yourself. Surrender. This is like equal to a Mac service center. How many of you use Mac system? Apple, okay, Mac, oh good, iOS, that one. When we give, uh, it happened when uh, our actors, uh, I, not iPad, no, what's it called? iPad, it is iPad, no, no. that lap, laptop of the Apple? MacBook, yeah, that book. So when that MacBook got some damage, some slight damage of the switch, we, we offered, we, we gave that to the service center, official service center of the MacBook. When the bill came out, it was almost 25,000. Then we always, our eyes came out like, what 25,000? have gone with only 2,500, one zero is less. So I asked why, what is the reason? So the man was telling, Father, have you not gone through our terms and conditions? I said, no, that is your problem. Whenever a MacBook is given for the service here in the official service center, we scan the whole system. Not only the damage that you see will be repaired, but the whole system will be scanned. And wherever there is a damage, we change the whole system and we keep everything anew. If that system is, you know, outdated, we'll take it back and give you a new system only. The rest of the money that you are supposed to pay. We maintain our, you know, standard in that way. Hallelujah. So welcome to this Mac service center. You do only one thing, offer yourself. He will scan you perfectly well. He will scan you, no, nope, it's the best scanner. The scripture says thousand times powerful than the sun. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But the, the, the positive thing is there is no radiation. But there will be certain radiation for some people like, you know, effects of radiation already started. It's all radiations. Hallelujah. But don't worry about anything else. You will be perfectly scanned, you know. But some of the people are afraid of the scanning machine. Because if they have, if this machine scans you, certain things that you like may be amputated from your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For example, why people do not come for the retreat? The reason is this. 
the reason is this <coughs> number one whenever i ask the especially the young people hey why don't you come for a retreat they tell father please do leave us if you come for the retreat if we come for the retreat we become saint please leave us father so you know what is the reason that they don't come for the retreat what they told is true they know it very well if you really retreat well if you really retreat well you're going to become a saint knowing that people don't come because we know that the closeness to jesus is equal to bidding by to satan and to all our worldly pleasures hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus the greatest thing the man is afraid to see is his own resemblance you know that we don't want to see our own you know bad faces that's why you know physically early in the morning we get up we decorate ourselves well seriously if you know if i think you might not have seen when they get up from the bed you will get fainted down actually some of the faces you happen to see hallelujah hallelujah this is ever given no makeup nothing natural beauty hallelujah hallelujah some of the people are like that it happened you know one day during an indian wedding the electricity has gone the power has gone off immediately people began to sweat it was a summer and the time came the husband and wife is supposed to give their consent to god say so they looked at each other when you know the wife sweat like anything when husband looked at the face of the wife ah! looks like a monster this is not the lady who i met at the house when he happened to meet her for the first time hallelujah you know the thing is you know man is afraid to see his own resemblance our own bad nature we always like to sing you know we always like others to sing our litany litany of our good things father you are awesome <clears throat> father you are beautiful mm. father your preaching is mm. oh, we get boosted up like that hallelujah but you know if someone is father in your preaching there is some mistake mm. we don't like that we don't see our own, we don't like to see our own bad image in front of it the problem is this if you have come here for a retreat you are going to retreat something you're going to retreat understand it retreating sometimes will be always painful hallelujah a uh, superior father philip he was telling me like um, he had a surgery one day you know, um, he was not able to lift up his hand so he went to the st james hospital there so the doctor said you need to undergo a minor surgery there she said he said yes sir, we'll go for that and after the surgery when that that sedation got over this man you know he was feeling severe pain severe pain severe pain like anything but no mark of of operation nothing so he asked what did you do it's simple father what happened was that there was a calcium deposit here at your joint so what we did was you know you can't bear the pain of this mini surgery we gave you that sedation and one of us you know put our knee on your shoulder knelt down there hold your hand the two of us rotated it that was the surgery so after that he told you know for days i had severe pain you know something that was struck with calcium when it got retreated and rotated it becomes painful remember if you are truly making a retreat it's going to be painful but at the end you'll be free like anything So welcome to the operation theater and intensive care unit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So don't worry you are in the hands safe hands of the best doctor in the world. Hallelujah. He will take care of you well. Every one of us are in search of this doctor actually. I have seen three category of people who come for retreat. Number 1 who are really interested to pray and who are really interested to attend the retreat i see 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 faces i already counted i have seen them before hallelujah those who really come for the retreat for the prayer and all those things there are second category of people who come with a hypocritical mind what is happening here to criticize i am what's going on here uh, father is having a pot belly so he is an eater good eater two hours of talk will be concentrated on my stomach and all of that not fine 
fan should be rotated in anti-clockwise. Why it is like this? Lights are not fine. Oh, climate is very bad. Huh? Divine. Mm -mm. Divine is not divine at all. Some people are there who come here to, you know, for examination purpose, to introspect what's happening here. Third category of people are there who are ragged by others. If you go to that, you know, youth retreat hall and ask them, at this time, some of the heads, you know, when I say like this, some people are dragged by others. Huh? Some people will be looking like this. How come you know that, Father? No way that they sit, we can, we can easily guess out they're, dra they're dragged. But in this, there is a possibility. By looking at the faith of those people who brought them to Christ, God will touch them. So don't worry, if you have brought your children, you drag them here, don't worry, you pray will, looking at your faith, he will touch there. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. And whenever I preach about certain things, don't get overexcited and say hallelujah and all louder. The problem is whenever I speak about, you know, your husband who is very bad and who is rude will be touched by Jesus today. And some other people will be saying, Father, hallelujah. Then we can easily guess out. Her husband is there. Please don't do that. Your family secret should not be revealed here. And that, that will become another problem. People will easily make out who is the husband of that lady. And from here, they will go happily. When Once they cross the gate, they will start. <laughs> then to finish that, they need to come again for a retreat. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. So all the characters that are said in this movie are not real. Okay? Think in that way. Don't take it as personal. But if, you know, sometimes you may feel, Father is, you know, exactly speaking about me. Somebody, my husband might have phoned and told in advance about me. My wife might have, you know, she is always into all WhatsApp groups of prayer. So she might have posted this request. Uh, that's how the father came to know about it. No, no, no. Nobody has told us anything. The one thing, if you really feel that I am poking you, I am really poking you. Understand that. The Holy Spirit is poking you. Amen. About you it is said. Change. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Praise you Jesus. Love you Jesus. So in these three, whatever it be, all of us are in search of Christ. We see in the gospel of St. Luke chapter 19, one man called Zacchaeus there. He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted to see Jesus. He wanted I told you, every one of us are in search of Jesus. You know why I said like this? If I ask you a question, hey, why did you come here? My mom brought me here. What's the reason? Uh, the reason is that I don't, I don't study well. I'm not good at studies. So truly, what that boy is in search of, or what that family is in search of this boy, instead of this boy, is called wisdom. God says, I'll give you wisdom. I'll give you wisdom. Wisdom chapter 9. Beautiful prayer of Solomon for wisdom. Again, some people used to say, Father, you know, one, one girl introduced herself to me in this way, like, you know, as we are preaching retreat in one of the places in Kerala. Good morning, Father. Good morning. And the best cheat in this village. I said, how come that? <clears throat> you know, usually I love four or five boys in a month. And I cheat every one of them within one month. And next month I'll take another. I asked why, why so? She said, Father, I was cheated by a boy. He brutally cheated me like anything. So from that time onwards, I take revenge in this way. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Truly, that girl actually is in search of love. She needs what she needs, a true love. Some people used to come and say, my boyfriend cheated me. You know, a couple of months back, a boy came and said, Father, this is my last try. Before that, I've gone to many of the psychiatrists, many of the places, many of the centers and all those things. What is your problem? I love the girl. She cheated me. She cheated me. So, you are in search of love. Yes, I am in search of love. So, what I've been doing till this time, I've been into drugs, I've been into alcohol and all those things. But you know, when I take all these things, it's okay. 
But when I come to my real sense, again this comes back. What all things I wanted to forget. It comes back with its mighty power. So, Father, my mom told, with this retreat you should need a transformation. Hallelujah. 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 The love. That boy, you know, he got, he really got that real love. Jesus says, I am love. I am love. And you know, some people used to come here, Father, I consider my friend as my own. I gave him room in my house. We, our family members, considered him as one of, one of the members of our family. At the end, he cheated us. Last week I was, in, I was abroad to preach a retreat. There were, I, met, I met a billionaire there and we were having tea there. At that time he was telling, you know, Father, I never thought that particular person will do that thing to me. He almost, you know, he almost made me, cost me the loss of 15 million dollars or something. Hallelujah. He was telling, we didn't think, we didn't think that he will cheat. So I don't believe in anybody now. I don't find any truth in anyone. So you are in search of truth, a true friend. God says, I am the truth. I am the truth. Again, I finished my studies, Father. I stand at a junction now, where to turn, which code should I take, where to move. I am in search of a way. He says, I am the way. Whatever you are searching, whatever you, for whatever thing you are here, God says, I am that. The problem is the name called God or Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Nobody likes that name. I don't know why. Many of the people do not like that name, especially the young people. What do you need? I need a better future, Father. God says, I will bless you. Jesus, I don't want that. You know why? I really used to wonder why people are like that. Then, you know, there's a beautiful verse in the book of Psalms, chapter 34, verse 8. God says, taste and see that the Lord is good. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Tasting and seeing that the Lord is good. Hallelujah. 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 Give a mighty hand to the Lord. Every retreat, you know, this is not giving some uh, might to God or glory to God. This is to make others get up, those who are sleeping. Really, I should tell you the truth. With this small clap, what God is going to gain? It's like, uh, clap well, man. <laughs> better. Better, 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 better. So, we will clap in between. The reason is, you know, others should get up. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Love you, Jesus. Taste and see. That is called a retreat. Tasting and seeing that the God is good. See, taste of the food. When we reflect about the taste of the food, what do you mean by the taste of the food? Imagine that I am the best cook in the world and I cook a biryani for you. Biryani, one of the most delicious biryani in the world I cooked for you. I opened the cover and the, you know, that aroma of that biryani you know, spread everywhere. Sense it? Do you feel it? You will never feel it. You can dream freely, but you will, you're never going to get in these five days. Okay. Maybe the special food people may get it, but don't expect much. But you know, come back to the dream. Biryani. <clears throat> so, that aroma spread everywhere and you came for the dinner to dine with me and I supplied the biryani into a plate and I extended the biryani to you and I said, you nonsense, ridiculous creature. How can we know that? I know you man, I scolded you and fired you like anything. And I said, eat. Come on, eat. Will that food be tasty? Is that the problem of food? Then, the person who served you, you want, but exceptions are there. Some people are born to eat. Those are exceptions. Exceptions are there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's served. Taste and see. See, the person who serves you the food, his character and the way that he serves, it affects the taste of the food. We, we, have, a, we have, we've got a wrong notion that 
the taste of the food exclusive to the science and food itself no no for example the category of people like me called the priest and the presbytery you went to meet him and he said you know i am not going to give you anything who are you are you come to teach me i am a priest and you are a little person who shouted like anything and on the altar i said god is love beautiful isn't it will you feel that god is love because previously just 15 minutes before he was scolding you like anything and he says god is love wow beautiful person who served you the food some of the misbehavior is from ourselves from our side priests from the religious perspective from the people who preaches from here maybe you get up to go for then from the altar the preacher said hey where are you going come back here stay here it became a wound and he said okay we come back to the topic forgiveness hallelujah will the person feel to forgive my brothers and sisters i want to beg your pardon we are weak as priests and religious we are mere humans like you see when we supply jesus to you understand all our drawbacks affects when we supply but that doesn't mean that this food is bad this food is exclusively good the best food called jesus when i why i said about the food the reason the last form of the word is food he became bread for you to be eaten hallelujah this is the best food in the world the problem is the person just think about yourself why you don't like christ why we hate him why we keep a distance with him the reason may be the peer persons who served you i always used to say an example one day um a little girl said to me like as i preach at a retreat for the children and came out immediately this came uh, this girl came and said father please never ever teach that god is a loving father because that preaching was oriented you know in this way that i was comparing god with the nature of my father he who punishes you he who corrects you he he will embrace you and he will you know he will give you whatever you need at proper time so when i came out this girl was telling please do not preach any more about god as a loving father i asked her why she said father whenever you say that god is a loving father i am reminded about my father who comes to my house after drinking a lot he beats my mother he beats me even he he tears out all my notebooks he tears it see to that person we are serving this food is that the problem with the food my dear brothers and sisters the problem of the person who serves you hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus love you jesus hallelujah 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 secondly so the people who introduced jesus to you for example i have seen some of the top most people who are into prayers a lot uh, maybe who are into the charismatic prayers and the retreats as they recite rosary they'll take rosary in their hands and they'll be reciting rosary hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed at that time her her girl the child who has just reached the age of uh, you know adolescence or the teenage they may be having certain identity crises and problems with that they they comes to mom mom i want to tell you something hail mary full of grace the lord is with you blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb jesus what are we doing actually are we serving mother mary well at that time what you are supposed to do stop praying never ever think that god loves you because of your prayer transcend your understanding it is his mercy that makes you to pray even to pray you need the touch of god don't forget that hallelujah hallelujah don't think that you have come here because of your wish this is a plan this is a clear plan for that you just sit and you know think back you will understand how i reached here you can clearly see a clear cut plan 
somebody was you know pulling you or pushing you and putting you to this track that's how you reached hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus give a mighty hand to the lord see at that time what that mother is supposed to do stop the rosary there come on tell me what's your problem yeah she will tell the problem oh is that we'll do one thing um we'll speak to blessed virgin mary come we'll say the rosary together come on hail mary full of grace she will you know she will become a person of prayer the problem is the person who is a place this food jesus the supplying of the it affects we see in the gospel i'll give you example from the gospel you know one one father brings a boy who is uh, who is suffering with epilepsy but because of a demonia you know he is a demonia he is possessed by demon and he is telling jesus hey i brought him to your disciples but they could not heal him if you can please jesus is asking him back what what are you asking if i can if i can you know what does that mean the failure of the disciples is attributed to the master the failure of the apostle is depicted as the failure of master himself hallelujah hallelujah do you understand it takes away the faith that my child will be healed that's why he asks jesus if you can please 12 of them tried could not if you can please you can also please hallelujah always under the so first thing you have to write down the script that is there in your heart what is the reason that we are not interested in prayer is it because of us is it because of the people who served you for example this this need not be a priest love your boyfriend or your girlfriend your husband or wife when they supply love god is love hallelujah when we seek love from others the way that they supply this love to you when it gets corrupted our heart will be in pain and some people will decide that by looking at that life father i have seen the life of my mom i don't want to get married anymore please i don't want to marry at all please father i don't want you get me what i mean hallelujah so you got a lot of things to do think think with you with your imagination why who am i why do i think how do i think hallelujah hallelujah secondly again come back to the biryani i you know i arranged the table well and i you know i was supplying the biryani and you sat there on the chair arranged there, beautifully arranged there and you know when you sat there began to you began to sense some smell bad smell strange Pastor, why this? By by seeing that, I said, "Hey, hey! Don't worry, don't worry, don't worry, don't get panic, and don't move to your left side because the septic tank of this building is kept open there. You don't worry, you don't mind. Okay, you don't mind. You can eat. Don't worry. Can you? Will that food be tasty? Is that the problem of the food? Hmm? Is that the problem of food? But exceptions are there. Some people are born to eat." Hallelujah they will eat Hallelujah give a mighty hand to the lord the context into which it is served if you come from a family that is already ruined to that kind of family to that kind of children when we supply god they will never understand they will not be able to take it because the context from which from which you come If you are a person who are too much who is too much into the worldly pleasures to you this food is supplied it will be very difficult for you that's a prob- that's not the problem of the food that's a problem of the context in which you receive the food hallelujah that's why we need to surrender everything leave your work space leave your family give everything we are surrendering not just giving it away but rather we give it we enter in you know, a five days lord completely i entrust it into your hands take care of it you will see miracles if you truly leave it you will see miracles hallelujah 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 thank you jesus 
give a mighty hand to the lord is it the problem of the context from which you come that affects your faith think well and you know speak to your heart then jesus is good it's my problem it's the problem of the place my disposition and the, and the and the third thing i still remember um one day early in the morning when i got up i was feeling some gastro problem and whenever the gas comes to the mouth the bulging comes uh, you know that a sour taste used to come to my mouth and I, then i understand i understood that something is wrong with my stomach but that day my papa and mama had gone out when they came back they brought six parotas six you know parotas and one sambar packet so when they came in, in the evening somebody came outside to meet them so they were talking with that guest by the time i reached the kitchen when i opened the vessel i could see that you know porota the hot porotas are there and sambar i ate all the six i ate all there were six porotas there i ate all hallelujah have you have you eaten the porota my goodness hallelujah hallelujah so uh, the truth is this my uh, parents my mummy did not cook on that day so my papa had a calculation we are three at home two parotas for me two parotas for daddy and two parotas for mummy as he came back and he asked where are the parotas i said i ate then he looked at me as if as are you my own man product like you know did i manufacture you like that he was looking hallelujah hallelujah so the problem started <clears throat> that you know that day late night immediately some kind of tsunami was going on inside of my stomach i got up ran that was the day that i cursed i really cursed my lack of height i was not able to open the door to unlock it i can't jump you know that if i jump even i can't lift my leg to climb on a stool i cried out dada he came he opened the door and that was you know too much if our internality is corrupted if our internal organs or the stomach is damaged it is a natural process of our body whatever good comes into our stomach it will reject it and eject it either through front or through back it will happen that's a natural human body process this is the same with your spiritual body hallelujah hallelujah even if your body is good and super even if you are you know your internal because of your sins or um, or uh, some of the wrong doings or some of the wrong things because some of the wrong experience your internal body your internal spiritual life if it is corrupted whatever good is supplied into it it will automatically reject that's why it is said judas received the bread and satan entered inside because his internality was already planning to betray him with that wrong notion he accepted it saint paul clearly writes hey examine your body well before you eat it otherwise you are inviting your own punishment some of you are sick and some of you are dead because of that you understand it hallelujah hallelujah that is still i remember when the, all the food has gone out of my stomach immediately the opposite thing came in gas stomach pain ah when when the actual thing is not filled in my stomach the opposite thing will come in it will affect me very badly understand that hallelujah is it the reason that you don't feel this food as something tasty is your internality pure are you holy is going to affect this food that you're going to take these days hallelujah is it the reason that you don't feel this food as tasty other than this if there are any other reason you're welcome to share you're welcome to the counseling too hallelujah otherwise first clear all these things the context at least accept i am coming from this particular context that is why i am you know let me ask you a question did he harm you tell me 
did he do anything wrong to you hmm did he do anything wrong do you think the wrong thing that the papa does is because of jesus huh hello when your parents does something wrong to you it shows the absence of jesus in them do you understand it shows the absence of jesus in them they should at least try to get jesus into their heart then they would not have done it without your enmity saint augustine clearly says the god who created you without your consent cannot save you without your consent god who created you without your consent cannot save you without your consent you are here in this retreat center for the retreat Do, don't think you know the fact that god knows everything is going to save you no please it's not going to save you you have got many things to do by making use of that knowledge you are supposed to respond to god hallelujah 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 that's why the catechism of the catholic church clearly says what is called the faith under the heading called i believe and that comes what is called the faith faith is the response of human being to the revelation of god faith is the response of human being to the revelation of god see something is revealed from here you have heard something from here see these are the reason that you know jesus doesn't you know feel as tasty in your life you heard it now what is your response very good father very good thank you the session is over you rushed to the refectory had tea and came back for the next session what is there for you then nothing this is called a retreat come on think about it accept it and offer it see i am like this not your problem god i understand it i truly think about it i offer it this response is called boom give a mighty hand to the lord you must differentiate between two things every time i used to tell weakness and willingness weakness and willingness into a weakness god has promised his power in your weakness i'll give you my power holy spirit the power into weakness so power 2022 you're going to receive it into your weakness for that you must differentiate what is called weakness and what is called willingness what is called what is the difference between weakness and willingness it is those are two different terms but it it has got a little association like you know how i used to say the example of my own friend who is a priest now so when we were in the seminary after the meditation standing during the holy eucharist he used to get sleep and used to get tired like anything so he'll be you know he'll be punching against the kneeler there on the kneeler to get rid of the sleep like <laughs> in the name of the father and the son and the holy spirit amen and with your spirit he gets up and again he begin to kick on the kneeler and in the midst of this kicking he gets up again and he will poke us and he will poke them back last what man sleeping man sleeping you know that man you know when he conducts adorations and when he celebrates eucharist now there are lots of miracles and wonders happening because he really gave value for the eucharist he had come here once after that holy mass people flooded to my room and they were telling father that father's holy mass excellent his talk super talk on eucharist super because he really gave value saint therese of avila says If you want to get something valuable you must give value if you want to get something valuable you must give value hallelujah hallelujah and you know that thing is called a weakness in the midst of strife he falls but when he comes to the sense to the real sense he again starts continues his strife to get rid of that particular thing evil called sleep he never stop trying now understand are you having real weakness real weakness is something that comes in the midst of strife and that fall won't be frequent rarely will fall 
you understand me hallelujah other things are willingness i stand you know even my 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 sitting position shows that welcome sleepy spirit i am in your presence fill us with your power over the way that we sleep sit it shows that we are inviting come on sleep let me sleep ah otherwise you know better you take a pen and hold it like this and you listen to the word of god balance it and stand you to concentrate or take a glass of water when you come next time to the hall and hold it in your hand like this palm and sit and listen the preaching and you should take not the glass but rather that steel glasses no that one is better because when it falls otherwise we may have to clean the hall when that thing falls that sound will come tang tang then others will get up hallelujah you know, i used to say when jesus introduces us to certain animals example the first thing john the baptist said brood of vipers viper then lion pig you must you know goat sheep you must go through the psychology psychology of these animals psychology of the viper the most laziest snake in this world and it has got varieties different category of vipers we have got in india we got lot i pray that god will bless you to see someone here no they're good our own uncles and aunties they are hallelujah hallelujah so you know what is the speciality of viper if you happen to see a viper here instead of this hall you can you know you can go relax and you can go and cook something eat something drink something and come back it will be hardly moving almost some 50 meters 15 meters it will be there around that radius it don't go faster <sighs> and you know they will be you know the most um, what we call among the snakes who get kills who get killed in accident viper stands number 1 as they cross the door uh, road the thing that this is my father's ancestral property and they cross and that's what is on even you know i have seen some of the vipers when we take our car and we want to go out of the gate you know i can see some other way when we honk pa 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 they won't move are this is my ancestors ancestral property who are you and as we pass through immediately good morning father hallelujah hallelujah all what is special is the viper so let's see and you know whenever viper happens to sense that you know people are coming to hit and kill it will be thinking oh my god some other snake is going to get killed not me anyway so sad huh? when it gets the first hit it understand eh? me ayyo das died hallelujah some people are like that no whenever whenever i speak about the family life when i speak about certain husbands and i can see some heads gets extruded here not about me you viper this is called viper syndrome you understand hallelujah especially the viper even if even if you know we cover them and walk it's not a problem but we happen to touch it it will sting you like anything not just with one sting the cobra and will sting and go when the viper won't stop with one it's like you know children fighting leave me it will be sting like that hallelujah some people are like that father you preach but don't touch me if, if you touch me some people are like that no outside of the outside some of the houses there are boards written beware of dogs when you ring the calling bell in that house they will ask who are you what do you want the board is correct the board is perfect hallelujah give a mighty hand to the lord <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters now taste and see that the lord is good now retreat think about yourself well we are going to make a retreat retreat is a common theme that we see in bible retreat is a common theme that we see in the bible every one of us like to make a retreat every one of us likes to make a retreat you know why i say this every one of us do especially the indian women if they are you know if they are touched 
or you know why do they keep this red thing what is it called sindur bindi and those in have you seen yeah bindi that thing you know you know why what does it mean the symbol of the rock code have you seen that same both are the same symbol of the rock code i have even seen my cousins no whenever we fight whenever we we do something wrong and we fight they will start the history i have heard from your father you have done that you have done this and everything is recorded in when we play it it will come back hallelujah all the stories hallelujah they make a retreat actually they make a retreat they are retreating every one of us even we had some bad memories every one of us tend to make this retreat you know how we sit in the room mama calls tut 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 have some food i don't want any food mama please do leave me alone i lock the room and sit he did that thing to me i i went with him to the ice cream parlor to the theater to the park and he did i recharged the mobile for her and i i ordered a lot of things for, from amazon and flipkart and i got a lot of super coins and good rewards from amazon and you know still she cheated me retreating the problem when you sit alone and retreat you will become sooner a depression patient understand you are supposed to make this retreat but there is a difference look at the bible moses god is telling something come on moses come man yeah i give you a mission okay you go back to egypt what you go back to egypt you know what was egypt for moses at that time he was afraid to go to egypt because he killed an egyptian and he did fled away from there he flee and god is telling face that land but this time there is a difference i will be with you i will be with exodus 412 i'll teach you then moses is telling lord i can't talk so the stammering can't talk somebody else okay aaron take but you know have you have you gone through the bible have you seen uh, who is talking more moses or aaron moses talks more hallelujah that man of stammering the difference is you don't go go alone but i will be with you don't make a retreat alone you will become a depression patient but if you hold the hands of jesus the first thing the god will be telling you come on hold my hand let's go to that dark areas of your life which you are really afraid to face there we are going to correct it hallelujah 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 again we come back uh, see in the new testament an example peter he calls peter jesus calls peter he comes to that sea and he preaches there usually after every preaching it is written many believed in him but during that preaching and after that nothing is written like that and he has asking peter come on peter let's go for a catch with the same boat that gave you lost last night to the same ocean that gave you last night with the same net that gave you lost last night we go for a catch but this time there is a difference i will be with you the scene is repeated again hey children did you get something after the resurrection do you remember the gospel of saint john peter says i am going for a catch you are also coming with you they went they were trying the level best the whole night early in the morning jesus appeared at the shore and asked hey children did you get something no the reason i am not there man with you now cast your net at the right side hey it's jesus really they get fish our problem is you know there is always i used to say all these things in every retreat there is a problem uh, usually when we have a wound in our hand when it's about to get healed uh, we will get a kind of itching feeling there have you noticed it hmm super it's a pleasure to itch there ah <laughs> but when somebody else touches there ah but if you go on itching like that will that wound get healed it will become septic that's why some of us are depressed 
we sit in the room and you know the disturbance that you get because of some of the bad experience that you, that you had in your life it shows that you are about to get healed actually but you know you sit alone and there is a pleasure in that it's called a self sympathy we sit and say, i was good and I, i i became like this and i did this what did i do to him and i am okay i was really good and now i am good for nothing i ruined and everything but speaking like this to oneself is called kind of self sympathy it's equal to itching that wound there is a pleasure in that ah ah ho oh. ho the problem is the wound will become septic and you will die out of that hallelujah hallelujah thank you jesus praise you jesus we are going to make this retreat which we make every day which we make every day but there is a difference you are supposed to hold the hand of jesus and walk then he will tell you hey why i didn't give you that admission in that particular college the reason is this thing the reason is that thing it's like you know why some of the things god that god is not allowing into our lives the reason he knows you know how we are praying from an inter indian context a father takes a boy a baby and goes to a shop immediately the ba- boy baby happens to see that you know bananas hang there and immediately the baby began to cry mm, mm, mm. the papa asked oh huh? Oh, thank God. This thing is not at all eating anything at home. At least now it's asking for a plant or a banana. And he takes one banana out of it and he's telling the shopkeeper, I'll pay you. And he gave that into the hands of this baby. And baby stopped crying and he was so happy. And immediately father understood something. It does not know how to peel the skin and eat it. So the father peeled the skin and gave that center part that can be eaten into the hands of the baby and throw, out, throw that skin out. mid the baby began to cry again now father asked what he pointed his finger towards the skin it was the color of that skin that fascinated that baby but the father knows vitamin a to z it resides in that center part that's already given in the hands of the boy some of our prayers are like this we look at the skin and cry but he knows before you ask he knows but after that jesus says ask and you will receive the fact that he knows everything is not going to save you but ask and you will receive hallelujah hallelujah the problem um, if the son asks for a fish will father give what is that snake why jesus says like that we are praying for a fish but certain things that god is granting into our life we may feel it as a snake oh that's going to bite me like anything we we i prayed for canada but the visa came from uk uh, i may find this you know as scorpion or as snake we may be looking at you know egg but the things that god gives will give us a feeling that is a snake is going to bite me it's going to you know kill me but in fact that's not snake god can't give that it's our feeling that jesus was Uh, telling about that jesus was telling you will feel it as snake and scorpion and all those things because we are already prejudiced when you are here already our minds are prejudiced lord you have to bless me but the plan for your blessing is here in my hand i have beautifully drawn it through this plan you have to bless me only through this plan amen let thy will be done but this is our prayer Lord you have to bless me but the plan is my plan. You have if I have pointed to Canada, Canada. Bless me. Let your will be done but will should be Canada. Hallelujah. Thank you Jesus. Be an open book. Take out all those things from your head. We are going to surrender everything into his hands now. Hallelujah. And if you ask the question, who are you? I told you you have to surrender your whole being into the hands of Jesus into that scanner he will scan and make everything clear now where we are supposed to make a change in our lives the change should happen in our personality in our real person who am i if you ask the question i am not the person whom you see understand i am not the person whom you see now for that you have to 
look at my privacies there in my room when there is no one to see me when there is no one to watch me when there is no one to control me what are my thoughts what are my behavior what all things that i am doing that is originally me it is there that we need to make a change you know like the way that you sit some of you maybe because of the makeup or something really feel that you should take out the statue of blessed virgin mary and put you there like saints you look like but this is not the original you so we have to we have to offer our privacies into the hands of jesus sanctify your privacies those things in which there is you know when there are nobody to see you the things that you are doing at that time what kind of thought pattern you have got what all things you are doing at that time all those things it is there that you are supposed to correct not in the hall in the hall everybody is perfect super but there you have to make a change you know i have seen some people i told you in the retreat and all it's good to be in silence you always speak with your god whenever i say this people will be there eating in the refectory like and when they happen to see this white cassock passing through immediately good morning father good morning be looking like this and when the pass, father passes through that way and goes out of the refectory immediately start what does it mean we know we are admitting that it's not fair to speak like that but for the sake of fathers we are doing it wrong that's something wrong hypocrisy hallelujah there we need we need we need a real change when you get an inter- do you think that you're praying now no not at all when you get a free time what are you doing at that time that is originally you immediately go to the coffee shop coffee 15 minutes of interval 14.5 minutes hallelujah oh hallelujah what an interest man right there we need a change it's there these times all you are already stuck you can't escape even if you don't come i'll send people to the dormitory and the room to bang the door and to wake you and come to this hall i'll send people you are stuck but when you get your free time it's really your time at that time do you feel 2 minutes i go wash within 5 minutes and i come back 10 minutes lord i have come i need to make a retreat come on hold my hand let's walk if you are praying like that you'll become a changed person before you leave this center it's there that we need a change hallelujah so we are going to surrender all these things surrender everything abraham is said to be the man the father of faith he surrendered his son isaac he surrendered why god asked him to surrender when abraham received a child he was telling my son isaac my son isaac my 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 then god asked him come on offer him as a sacrifice to me and the man abraham you know the pain that he had because the boy asked we have got the firewood you have got the knife and everything where is the lamb there is an animal to be slaughtered just imagine at that time what was the disposition of abraham he says a beautiful word of god god provides god provides hallelujah and you know if one second if god was delayed surely would have killed that boy because he proved i love you god more than this boy but after that both of them go to that mount and they comes down after that we see a change in abraham this child that god gave my son became god's son that's a difference why our children are not getting any transformation the reason you are telling my son my ilts my engineering my doctor dream everything on my son my son and my son my son my sir offer it to god offer and say your son not mine your son guide him your son your son and you know in this in the life of abraham when god asked him come on leave everything and follow me to the land there came an unwanted company with abraham you know who was that who was that lot hallelujah hallelujah 
Lord came along with him and every day it is written, every day, the servants of Abraham and the servants of Lord, they were fighting each other. This man didn't have any peace of mind. The reason that some of us do not have the peace of mind is this, we have taken some wrong company which God already forbidden in our lives. Some person, some person or some company, some contacts in the mobile phone are to be blocked and deleted. We have to do it. That may be the reason your parents are fighting with you. Then delete it. Block it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We have to do that. It's there that we need a transformation in our lives. And you know, at last what happened? Abraham got fed up, tired and said, Lord, this won't go along. We'll do one thing, we'll get separated. See, you see the fertile land there, beautiful land with the grasses, greeneries and the rivers and all. And you see the wilderness there. Which one you need? Lot. You can prefer whatever you need. This man, Lot, said, I'll take the fertile land. Okay, go there. And Abraham chose the wilderness. I repeat, Abraham chose the wilderness. But it is written there, when Lot departed from Abraham, God began to speak to him. From that time onwards, the promises that God gave to Abraham began to get fulfilled. If the promises about you, that which God has given into your life, it, it has to, if it has to be fulfilled, you have to come out of certain wrong companies. God began to speak to him. Hallelujah. And you know, the wilderness, God was with Abraham. And the wilderness became the land that which flows milk and honey, the land of Canaan. And that fertile land which Lord sought became Sodom and Gomorrah, which is filled with all sexual immorality as God destroyed it. Give a mighty hand to the Lord. <laughs> Don't forget God. So surrender everything. When God asks you to surrender everything, when He asks you to leave everything, leave everything. Surrender everything. Surrender these retreat days. Surrender all the preachers. Surrender your privacies. Surrender your family. Surrender your failure. Surrender the context from which you come. Surrender the people who served Jesus to you. Surrender your internality. Everything surrender into the hands of Jesus. Let him scan you and clear you. This is going to be a little tough. Every retreat. At the end... You will enjoy freedom. I used to caught like this. Every retreat means, retreat means it's an operation without anesthesia. It's an operation without anesthesia. We are supposed to cut off certain things. There is no middle path for Jesus. Do you know that? If your word, yes means yes. No means no. The, the middle path comes from evil. We are supposed to say no to evil. And yes to God. Hallelujah. Give a mighty hand to the Lord.